All right, guys. Welcome back to another I'm, pod. I'm oh. so I, sorry. I just cut your intro no, off good. because I'm so excited to tell you about what happened. Yeah. If you've been following the past couple of podcasts, you have found that CJ has a love for crisp and green. green. Every Friday, I go there. Every Friday. And he claimed that he was a regular, right? So, well, I've been talking about it for the last two episodes. I've been saying... If I keep going, I think I'm like one or two away from becoming a regular. I, I kept now. at it. I it, stayed consistent. It was this whole build up, right? So me and CJ are in town right next to Crisp and Green, and we go, <laughs> we almost have to. Well, it's almost like you planned this. Now last, that I'm thinking about it, you probably did plan well, this, it was right? Friday. Last time go. we were in Fargo on Friday, you were across town. And you were like, oh, I, I really want to go, but why would I drive the truck and trailer all the way over there? And then you're like, screw it. I'm going. I'm like... Hey, I'm down to see this in person. I want to see how they treat you as a regular. CJ's been talking himself up. So we pull up and we walk in and CJ, I do this dude. It was like chest out, walking <laughs> in, waving at everyone. Everyone's like oh, looking at him like in a certain way. And he's like, Fred, hey, <laughs> Jennifer, good to see you. Places his order and he he's kind of doing his thing. And, you know, he's like hobnobbing with the people in the back and, uh, I'm I'm just watching this unfold, right? In Little, awe. L- yeah, kind of in awe. But I'm just watching to see where this goes, and then I forget. Oh shit! I actually have to be like a human and like place my order, right? So oh, I look up. Up to this point, it was just all a meme. Up to this <laughs> point, it was like a meme, and I was just watching CJ. I was just watching this story unfold. I look up, and this lady is standing behind the desk, staring at me, and she's like, <laughs> "What do you want?" I didn't realize that I've been standing there for like 45 seconds at this point, just watching CJ work his way down the line as this lady's like, can I help you? So I'm like, oh shit. Um, yeah, I'll take uh, this and this. And, and she's like, okay. So I start working my way down, right? Still, still just watching CJ. This lady goes, I wrote this down because it was so funny. I didn't want to mess this up. This lady goes, he got he always gets the best. And I I thought she goes, He's the best? I was like, Did you black out on the spot? I blacked out. I literally go, He's the best at what? And she goes, No, that's the salad. He always gets the best. The salad's called the best. And I'm like, Oh, I thought you were saying he's the best. And she's like, Why would I say that? Why would I say okay? I pull out my phone and I'm trying to like sneaky record these interactions to use it on this podcast. And I couldn't really get anything good. I'm filming these workers behind making these salads. And this, the one making my salad looks up and goes, we going to be featured on something. I'm still rattled from like every interaction I've had up until this point. And I go, I don't know. Are you? Oh my <laughs> you gosh, the dude. Can. I didn't know oh what was going on. I was like <laughs> so in, in just like shock between trying to watch you oh and the God. past couple awkward interactions I'd had. And I was like, man, this is so funny because CJ is up there on cloud nine right now. Like he's in his element. And then I'm back here, like could not be any more awkward of a human being. Right. And, and she's like, uh, ah, okay. <laughs> and then I get up to the next lady, a fresh start. Fresh start. I was like, okay, here's my chance to not mess this up. She has this salad in front of her after CJ pays. And I'm like, this guy isn't a local, is or a regular, is, she, is he? And she's like, uh, he comes in like every Friday. Okay. And she was like, I, I don't know if you call that a regular, I guess. <laughs> right. And right. I'm just like, he told you to say that, didn't he? And she's like, what? And I go, what kind of salad is that? Because the person behind me, salad, it was gotten... And she goes, dude, next time CJ walks in there, they're going to go, you know, that was nice of you to take your little special friend along with you. <laughs> yeah. To dude, get a no, salad. She that goes, and and me, CJ just goes, going there. that's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She goes, oh, this is the soul salad. You know, something I don't have. That's what she said. And she's like looking oh. at me. The you ginger mean, said that? Yeah, I was like, no fucking listen, listen, way. listen. I'm just staring at her in, in like shock and in, in trying to figure out what she meant by that. And my brain goes to, what do you mean you don't have? It's right here. And then, and then I go, oh, soul. She's and I go, a woman of and, humor. Yeah, yeah. That's and funny. I literally go, <laughs> jokes. <laughs> and she's just staring so at me and Dude. she's like, yep. So and I go, <laughs> same. Dude, you and she's blew like, it. Nah, dude. And she's like, you didn't get it. 
who is the, what is the if she'd been watching me from the start i can't i'm, I'm probably on like a do not sell to list now and she's like uh okay and i'm like that was funny Alrighty, I'm gonna go sit down, and then I'm on my way to sit down, and then this lady goes, "Hey Ben," and I go, "Fuck, I have no idea who you are." What's up? <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes, "You don't remember me, do you?" I'm like, "Oh my god, this could not go any worse." And then I sit down. <laughs> I'm sitting there next to CJ, just like, dude, I don't know what just happened, but like, I think I forgot how to exist as like a human being, and he's. Eating a stud, he's like, this is so good, I know, right? And I'm like, that's not at all what I was talking about. But okay, I get up to go and grab another straw, go back to the same ginger girl, and I go, where are the straws? She goes, these? Like, right in front of me, and I was like, <laughs> those will Bro, do. Ben forgot how grab to it, I grab it, and I'm just walking back, just like, like actually laughing at myself for how ridiculous I looked. And I was like, man... Crispin Greens is just the story that keeps on growing. But you missed out on the part that when you asked her, you go, is this guy a regular here? And she goes, yeah, he's a regular. He comes in every Friday. And she said, he always gets this. That is what he said. Yeah, that is what oh, I said. Did? I didn't hear uh, that. What, what I forgot said. to mention, actually, is that what I should have mentioned is she goes, that's funny because he asked us if we could call him a regular last time he was in. I did not. Yes. I don't know That's why she, she said, said that. She was know. lying. Did she actually she say that? She actually, said that. She actually that. said that. She goes, yeah, he asked if we could call him a regular last time he was CJ in. was prepping, was bro. He's like, one day my friends are going to come with me. That, and they got to know. That's just weird. But it's I funny. didn't. Yeah. I don't think I did, but it sounds like something I'd say. <laughs> bro, it that's, does. That, I'm still internally laughing about the the soul salad and the yeah, red this is hair a soul girl. salad you know and, something and i don't have you, i'm she like was ginger you That's were so what... caught up in everything oh is that what she meant yeah yes, you dude idiot man okay so that was like two it. hours ago he didn't get it but you were i thought you were just so caught up in everything <laughs> that That's dude. what she meant yes. yes she was joking on herself which was is <clears> funny <throat> If you would have said it, it would have been mean, but obviously you wouldn't have. But you imagine she <laughs> yeah, goes dude. soul salad and I go ha, ha, something you don't you have. Should more, you should eat more of those. I'd you imagine. I'd imagine ever. once I walked out. <laughs> it's got a picture of her. I was like, "What Why are you do doing you on your phone right now?" Because you took a picture said, with her, CJ. Well, no, because I'm at my favorite place, selfie on? with everyone no, in the back. Because I was there, and she goes, "You need to get a rewards card," and I go. Damn right, I need a rewards car. I wish you had one. And she goes, Oh, we do have rewards. I was like, Oh, well, give me one. So then she got me one. And then she said, You should leave a, a review too. And that's why I took a picture and I have her in that picture. <laughs> Let me take a picture of you. <laughs> well, I was trying to get the fucking do the thing and it didn't work. It's a scan bar. This is such I'm a like terrible story. Mentally <laughs> picturing what this picture looks like. I think this just goes to show we should not be eating salads. We Dude, should be honestly, eating. Honestly, I think I'm not going to be a regular anymore after that. I'm going. Jeez. I might have ruined that for you. Back to the roadhouse, and I'd imagine that when we walked out, they were they were all sharing <laughs> their separate experiences that they had with me as a customer. They're probably looking you up, like, "What the fuck?" I think is I, up with this guy? I definitely want to go now and be a weirdo. Is this I don't want to do that. I think that'd be funny. Ken. What's that? What can? shade on himself. Is this how you guys feel when I fuck up? Because this is really <laughs> enjoyable. <laughs> it's a similar story, I'd exactly. say. Dude, yeah. I, it is in a way. <clears throat> it's just, yeah, it's just downright embarrassing, but also, like, you got to do that. You got to put your head down and laugh at yourself. I was not even chuckling. I was full on it's laughing. Like, I was like, dude, I am such an idiot. Uh, that's fun sometimes. No, it was Other a good time. I. Not. Like the whole time it was happening, like I was like, I can't wait to tell the guys about this because they're going to also think this is very funny. I think we're going to have to change subjects because CJ just keeps opening and closing apps on his phone right now <laughs> in the middle of the podcast. Deal. Deal. All I right. got something I want to talk about. Someone needs to fess up here. It was me. Was it you? <laughs> I don't know. I, oh. Go on. <laughs> whoever let me, whoever <laughs> last used the SEMA truck and broke the trailer brake connector. And didn't say a word, and then let me drive it into town, knowing I'm going to pick up well, an expensive boat that I need brakes for. We pull up and they go, "Where are you gonna? Where are we connected?" I go, "What? What do you mean? There's a thing right? Oh, what the hell? Well, this could be figured out really quick. Just say if it was you, it wasn't me. I'm not mad. I just seem a little mad. 
I mean, I'm more so just like, why don't you just get it fixed or right. mention it? it I, everybody's looking at me, but it was not me. The last thing I remember that truck being involved in was when CJ and I were unplugging the jet ski lights and the whole rig came out. Yeah, that happened. And I went, time. that That's happens every time. Yep. So probably what happened is when that went back in after unhooking the jet ski, when you were messing with it, it probably didn't get secured, probably fell out sometime along the 70 mile an hour winds and driving 80 miles an hour down the highway. Uh, it fell out. Wait, 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 yeah, wait, but wait. How would it fall? Who put it back in? Who, who put it back in when it fell out the last time? Not I. No, it. it oh, wait. I don't know. No, Who the was thing it? is, you guys, hold on. There's, <laughs> can I talk? So the last time I used that truck, we put in mine and Ken's jet skis. I brought it back here, parked it, mm. unhooked the trailer. It was completely fine. I parked it. Hasn't been used since. It hasn't been used since. But how it has been used is it got pulled in because there was a storm coming. It got pulled in forward. And then it must have gotten pulled back out and a trailer was put into the thing. It was backed into the corner. So someone, I think, was dinking around. We with, gotta get to the bottom with of this. their flooded rental house carpet on a trailer. It, I don't know who it could have been, but it was probably <laughs> the person that had the carpet on the trailer that plugged their the the trailer into the truck. But that was into the ram. Back that in with the ram, because how am I supposed to get that trailer there when it's right next to the SEMA truck? Yeah. True. Hey, yeah. Can you be awfully quiet? <sighs> You I'm know? pretty sure it was <laughs> it you, dude, that you're the only person that uses that truck. And I keep that for a reason, because I do not want to be accused of something being wrong with that truck. I okay. can't agree with that. Every time CJ gets in it, why are the windows down? Does it smell weird in here? This, that. It drives weird this time. It does this. Is this scratch new? I'm like, I don't fucking touch it, dude. I back it in when it's going to hail. Park it in the corner. Not mine. All Sounds right. like well, we found them. If it wasn't, I f honestly, it, it looks like it was just ripped. Like it was in and we disconnected the trailer and drove off because it like, and that's why, like broken. That's why I think your theory of it that might falling make off, sense. going down the road makes more sense. But I don't know if it could fall off. It would just it fall ripped, out and hang. If, if it ripped while you were doing something, it would have been like a, yo, I messed up the, oh. the thing. I'm just, All right, so hey, if you ripped well, if it, it sounds ripped. like we, it sounds like we got to the bottom of this because, because I was more so... Just disappoint. I didn't think it was that big of a deal that it was broken because that's like a really easy fix. But I was more so just like, who the fuck breaks this and just doesn't even say anything? And Sounds right. like that you. makes yeah. sense. I no, how could it possibly nobody. be me? So what because I went there knowing to pick up. I don't a know. Boat you're getting awfully defensive, that. CJ. <laughs> I just have no idea what you're getting doing. awfully I, defensive. I didn't know that was even broken. So along like, yeah, that story, either. along that storyline, all I heard was. I used the truck a few different times, and then now it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> the only person that will step well, foot in that truck. Everybody's used it a few different times. It's been moved. You could have been moving something around in the parking lot. No, nope. all I did it. was back that truck in when it was gonna hail. Yeah, I can't. The last time I touched that truck, I got uh, like fifteen different tickets, hey, and that's I why I was confused. That's why I was confused. I haven't driven it this season either. It wasn't me. I'm. If it if it was during my driving, it would have had to have been. It like fell out. And somehow yeah, broke, but I it's like happened. fucking. It is like not nothing's, off. It nothing's like. messed up. There's a plug that is no longer there. Yeah, it oh, just fell out. That's I it, see. it plugs into that. So meaning when that fell out, when we did the that's why it's thing, just open. And when it, it was hanging, probably bouncing around, loosened itself up and fell out. Yeah, <laughs> would have to be. But <laughs> hey, well, I'm, I'm glad that that it wasn't like a situation where someone broke it and just didn't fess up. Cause I was more so disappointed about that. I was like, why the fuck? It, it is we need fun. fucking it's Nancy funny. Drew well, in here. To get like, to the bottom of it. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, the, the, like Ram, the security camera, the Cummins was sitting out there and how you just sent that Snapchat, like close the windows on the skid steer. Then Ryan goes, can you say please at least or whatever it was. That was just funny. Well, he goes, Cause stop you were just leaving so, these yeah, windows you open. So, like, You're doing it quick. But yeah. I was like, please. No, it was just funny. Like, you were like setting a reminder, but it seemed like a yo, quit fucking up. Well, I no, it's fine. It's and then, pouring rain. No, you're good. I come to work and the skid steer windows are open. I take a picture of it. Hey, close the windows on the skid steer, mm -hmm. whoever uses them. No, totally you fine. said stop leaving these windows open to that everyone, to that, everyone reading. Those it. were the things. Yeah, I no, think that's a pretty totally valid fine. statement. I it just is. said it was fine. It'd be, it'd be different if I was like an owner telling my employees that, still that, tell them it that way. work. Yeah. And I was like, then it maybe it would be less fine, but it's still fine. 
And then it's funny, like the 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 Cummins back window was open right before this crazy storm we got last night, and it's like the urge to send a Snapchat and be like, I "Well, who left, left that I, open? I don't know, but I was gonna." You've been driving it. I was, I, I don't touch the back window. You don't touch like, anything. It was when you were out there, <laughs> but. I like closed it and like the urge to take a Snapchat and just be like, stop leaving the window and the <laughs> ram open. I don't know. I think you guys took that personal clearly because no, you leave the windows I open. Taken it, I didn't it up take it. Prodded because it was personally. funny. Say yeah. please. Just because Ryan time. said say please, it means you can't take a joke. Yeah. No, I was, I was, I, I didn't think much of it, but I was like, I didn't. I no, th- I, I thought it was w- funny. That's it was. What I thought it's like the delivery of things that can be most important, like. We'll go back to when I messed up and put the podcast ads in the wrong place. They were all in the first like 50 seconds. And the text was, whoever did the podcast ads fucked up, knowing it was me, not giving any like, hey, Ryan, the ads are messed up. You got to fix those. Nothing like that. When Ken didn't do the website right, when there wasn't something going, he goes, who Who's doing this? Why is this not done right? Is this not what we are supposed to do? This should be someone's responsibility. But I'm not done. Because no, it's true. I'm not done. When Micah has a design late, it goes, why isn't this getting done? He's sleeping all day. But when you guys have the videos late, no comment. How late is a video? You know what? Hold on. I'm not done. When you spell words wrong in the video, I don't text in and go, yo, who's the fucking moron that spelled crane wrong twice? I just go, hmm. It was a mistake. Mistakes happen. Things happen. Yeah. You know what the difference is, though? On all these things, we're all equal owners of it. And at some point, you just have to just be like, yo, That's my do this. That's my responsibility. And so, one, I shouldn't even have to tell you guys do these certain things. Two, you shouldn't have to tell us, hey, make sure the video is up in time. We know that. Also, but, like, the video being an hour late is way different than Micah being a week behind on designs. I agree. And, like, I'm and, just saying and to be that fair, you two don't walk on water and aren't, per- no, and aren't perfect. I agree. I agree. If we mess up, yeah. I'd hope you tell us. Right. Because mm-hmm. no, how are we supposed to ever, we're just going to keep messing up? Like, mm-hmm. if I wouldn't have said, honestly, I wasn't sure if it was you or Ben that did nope. the pods, the mm-hmm. ads on that podcast. Because you guys were both fucking sitting at the computer. Mm-hmm. So I said, whoever did the ads fucked up. Mm-hmm. If you don't put ads on the podcast, you would just spend all that time editing for nothing, mm-hmm. technically, mm-hmm. unless you enjoy doing that. But mm-hmm. I mean, nah, it's pretty I, important, I to, I'd say, to say, I, like, hey, we, I get it. If no, he, he's fucked he's up. Also, he's say talking that. about the delivery of it. I get that too. But then the other thing on the website, like doing that, like, that really is not my responsibility. No, to I'm not saying it was. So then I I'm just check it. it I'm, I'm just like, yo, come on. Like, you three look at the website like every day. Almost Nobo- all day, nobody thought. noticed that this header has been like this, like for a week now. Or yeah, even, never look at the or even either. the merch drop. We had the merch drop that day, and I'm fucking grinding on my computer since six a.m., getting all this shit, and we get it done. It gets posted. I go, I better check the give the website once over. I literally was on the website for seven seconds, and I click the fucking thing. And it's just bringing me to pages that have nothing on. I'm like, did did no one scan this? I agree. I mean, like. It's it is important for me to say that I know it hurts your feelings maybe or you mm-hmm. might not like hearing it not like also what I not what I no, said okay yeah. but it like I don't no one likes being told they fucked up but I gotta tell you you're, you're fucking up because one hundred percent agree it, otherwise we're just gonna keep fucking up if I fuck up tell me but if it's like something minor like spelling I, I agree on a YouTube video that's important but if I'm texting in a group chat and no. I spell the word whatever wrong and mm-hmm. you're like <laughs> and i'm talking about something Haven't done that important. since we were like 17 you know what's really funny is me and cj actually looked up crane we did yeah <laughs> it came up c-r-a-i-n and we were both just like okay no, it was c-r-a-n-e so that, that no but you it. spelled it c-r-a-i-n and i go crane spelled wrong and you go nope i looked it up and i go it looks wrong we look it up c-r-a-i-n what? crane pops up and go yeah. No, I swear. I swear. We literally did this yesterday. Go, hmm, I don't know. Click on one of those pictures. It's definitely with an E. It's Crane. definitely yeah. with an E, but... Uh, it's just... Be- a- 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 no, a- look. But- Wait, how do I spell <laughs> it on there? I'm telling you, dude, Crane is not spelled C-R-I-A-N. C-R-A-N? Yeah, no, it's yeah, definitely yeah. C-R-A-N-E. That's what we looked at, and we're like, that's Crane. Yep. That is exactly what we looked no, at. Like, the fact that you... Wow. So we pulled up a picture of a crane. picture pulled up, and I said... 
Looks good. Then we we have this one here. C R A I N E. Maybe there's multiple. Ways yeah, we didn't to look. It. We didn't look too in depth no, I'm just into saying, it. Like it's well, that's weird. Moral of the story is uh, you should deliver things happen. nicer. And mistakes no. happen. I agree with that. One hundred percent. I make mistakes uh, all the time. Like I, I also fucked up. I fucked up in the Lambo drop off vid for the prom. Uh, I always am checking the mic, making sure it's like not partially plugged in because we've made a mistake before, and I learned from it because mm-hmm. I fucked up a whole video. So I'm always checking the inputs, making sure everything's fucking dialed. I do my best. I've never had this happen, but the road, like the cover for the mic, had somehow slipped off its thing, and I didn't even notice because it's just sitting there. The whole bit was pretty much ruined because wind was blowing in, and you could barely hear what anyone was saying. And I said, or Ben typed in, in the text message, all the audio is fucked up on the whatever bit. And I go, was it not plugged in? What? And he's like, uh, I don't know, but the audio is fucked up. And I just owned up. I said, I'm sorry, guys. I fucked up. My bad. Mm-hmm. You did do that. So, well, I mean, so I fucking I, owned up. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's just how it is. I feel there. So, right actually, there, I had a mistake. And I don't think um, I walk on water. No, you no, I Okay. Continue, no, Mike. So, you guys, just to be clear, when there's a mistake made... Like I, I would prefer you tell me, which I think I do get told pretty mm-hmm. clear whether I spell a word wrong or whatever, but, uh, like, just tell me, I don't really care. That's mm-hmm. how I, that's how I know. Like I did something wrong that caused this problem. Don't do it again. 100%. And that's how shit goes. But you'd like us to deliver it nicer. Maybe. No, I was just making fun of Ben when he just like sent me this thing and I just went, please. Like oh. I walked in your office like six seconds later and I was like, what's up, dude? Good morning. Like it was, it wasn't deep. Okay. Right. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. This goes back to uh, to just fucking. You need the criticism. If I can find it. Also, I don't criticize you guys because I fuck up way more than you do. So I don't. You, you'd have to mess up pretty bad for me to be like, don't do that again. Okay. You guys are gonna <laughs> fucking laugh your ass off at this. So it's this video of David Goggins. <laughs> oh, dude. Just we're just talking about this just criticism this. is good yeah see criticism oh, is good gosh. but th- i think there's a lot of truth cj to loves this, this video honestly <laughs> he loves it. my dad's not like a harsh guy like he wouldn't say it harsh like this like, right, I, just, I, I tie back into like hockey like if i fucked up he would never be like try to make me feel better like it's okay there was all these other things like yeah yeah i mean that was all you <laughs> you know like t- i mean it probably was and that's just how it sh- how it is you know but listen to this david goggins Tell yourself the truth. If someone calls you fucking fat, they may be bullying you, but you might be fucking fat. Someone calls you dumb, it's mean, but you might be fucking dumb. It's life, man. Take it for what it's worth and change it. And that terrible feeling when someone does tell you that yep. you're fat, you can use that as fuel. As fuel. Period. <laughs> it's you, Ben. No. Did you see well, my yeah. reply to that? You said CJ wanted to tag me in this so bad. <laughs> Because he just sent it in our friends group chat. That's like the most like CJ par- personality true, like, thing to like that video. So I much. like, dude. I yeah. watched that and I could just picture CJ yeah, watching know. that and being like, I was so close <laughs> at Ben Roth. <laughs> you, said, you were about to say it now. You go. I was, I was a, so close to posting that. I'm like, it's such a you thing to want to post that video. It's true all though. Videos. It's true though. Everyone I wants to complain, it's, I, but it's I, like I told dude. CJ. He goes, he goes, it's true. It's true. It's true. And I'm like, I'm not arguing with that. Also, there's a billion other videos out there that are true that you could put on your story, but I was like, that's the one. I mean, <laughs> CJ goes even deeper into the shadow ban. Yeah. That's at true. that point, oh, Instagram maybe. would be like, that's not okay to tell somebody In, they're yeah, fat. Instagram, it, dang, that's how that's the world is mean. nowadays. That's not okay to tell somebody they're stupid. Well, if you're dumb, you're dumb, and you can probably change that if you just start trying not to be dumb and <laughs> learn from your mistakes. But the problem is most dumb people don't even know they're dumb. That is the truth. But if that you're truth. if you're fucking you want to change something, you got to just go and do it. You don't just make it acceptable, which is what they do nowadays. Like you look at the, the magazine sure. the magazine sure. covers now. They protest having skinny models. They're like, "Why are all the models skinny? It's not fair to us fat people." It's like, "Well, you're not supposed to be fat." <laughs> like it's just it's not healthy. It's not good for you. You're supposed to like they they want you to like make it acceptable so that way they can be like oh it's okay but it's really not like and it's not even necessarily about your feelings it's about your health i agree i think the tough part for companies they're normalizing it being unhealthy yeah 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 yeah. but for companies promoting that or saying that like it it basically all just comes down to 
They're just trying to get they're as just, much they're appeal just trying to, to whoever. Yeah, exactly. They're trying to appeal to the masses. Do you, do you guys think that this day and age there's more skinny people or overweight? I shouldn't even say overweight, but like not being a stick is becoming more acceptable. Yeah, but I mean, statistically, you can look at it. It's just America, also, dude. I'm pretty so sure, like... The way I look at it is, so there's all these companies that are whatever. Let's say the model companies, they want you, the girls to be skinny. There's many different examples of this besides modeling. And then when people get upset that that's all it is. All I see is Photoshop, skinny, skinny, whatever, this and that. That's not how it should be. They can say whatever they want because, like, these model companies can also do whatever they want. And if you want to change it, you have to create your own company and then have have your set model uh, like that, this and that. And so like ta- when taxi drivers were upset that Uber took over, that's just life. That's how it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's true. So yeah. Being like, fat is taking over. No, yeah, so I, I'm saying if you want to change it, you have to create a new company. Like taxi drivers can't just go. Mm. Yeah, but you would like get criticized if you. For but sure. that's the thing that's is they're, they're still criticizing either, like that. But it's whatever. I just think the truth is hard. It is. That's just the fucking it's the truth, man. Mm-hmm. The U.S. obesity rate is 42%, 42.4%. So nearly half of America is fu- is overweight. Great. What's considered obese? I don't really... I don't know. It goes something off your... That means how, there's tons of people that don't even have any, like, even a lick of muscle on them. Like, you could... Like me? It's one... Th- no, you got... <laughs> Mike, we were putting in those docs, dude. I was very impressed with your strength. <laughs> He's just as strong as me. He's got oh, functional man. strength. I could go on for that for a little while, too. CJ and I putting docs in this miserable Jesus, yeah. work. I think it's it's a tough spot because right, right now in this day and age, social media is a, such a massive thing. And I don't think most of these people want to be portrayed as, like, over overweight on social media. And it's like, more than ever, more people are seeing you. What do you mean? Oh, you're saying they don't want to the, be the people standing up to it. No, I, I think the advocates that advocates for it. it. It's interesting. Okay, what I'm saying is like, yeah, obesity rates are going up, but I think there is like such a stigma to most people not wanting to be overweight because of social media. Yeah. Well, that's why they're trying to normalize it. And all these overweight you people think? are like, yeah, it's not fair. They're only putting skinny people no, on No, the- I think maybe, maybe what are you trying like to say? Because like a, a lot, lot of, of these people, people are look- very self-conscious about it. And they don't necessarily want to. And you got to keep in mind, CJ, not everyone has the same metabolism as you. I'd agree, yeah. Right? That's just, you that's can't a help big it part of it. I was yeah. like, a lot of people to- can't help it, actually. Yeah, there is diet and there is exercise and things like that. But some people do both of those and they still... Yeah, find themselves in like overweight. But, I, I, but you think that in this day and age with social media, I personally feel like more people would not want to be overweight because of how many people can look at them and mm-hmm. judge them. So that's why I don't necessarily understand how like more and more. Well, I guess I do understand because of the lifestyle and everything like that. People are less active. Sh- food is only getting shittier and more processed, right? I think uh, being overweight like isn't necessarily like, from what I see, I don't think it's socially as accepted as you as you're I claiming think it's it to be. Getting more socially accepted, personally, if they're oh, if I mean, they're trying to normalize it and putting plus size models like on the I wouldn't cover say of magazines. Being overweight, though, I would say just like your body is accepted. What do you mean? I guess right. I don't understand no, what you're it just, saying. It just is. It's it not. Is. The people is. aren't saying is. like being oh. overweight's accepted. That's not what they're saying. Oh. They're saying like love you for who you are. Oh yeah. Like yeah, your yeah. your body. I agree with that. Yeah. No, your, but it's it's also interesting. You know, remember when the movie Super Size Me came out? Mm-hmm. Like the or documentary. The McDonald's um, one. Yeah. So like, when was that? Like 2009 or something? I feel like that was the peak of fast food. Like you guys. You guys are, eat really healthy, relatively healthy. Yeah, we go to Crispin Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One day a week, <laughs> right? I eat no, healthy. but I mean, I should like. I want to eat healthier, dude. But it's I tough. used to even like in college and stuff. Like I'd rip McDonald's all the time. Rarely ever go there now. Just like that in general. Like we don't really go. Kind of back fast in your tubby or food. Days. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's when CJ would tell me I'm tubby. If anything, I'm being. <laughs> a, I'm doing you a favor, though. Moderately nice. I mean, I'm not. I'm like, dude, you're getting kind of tubby, Mike. Yeah. Tubby Mike. No. You know? <laughs> tubby Mike. <laughs> Mike. I said that to Ben. Ben is shedding weight, dude. He's running and shit. Crazy. Like, aren't you glad though, Ben? Would you rather me just be like, you know, not say anything, and then you just? I honestly, I don't think what you would say would make any effect on right. like uh-huh. what I think. All right. 
But, but I, I watched that fucking don't video. Don't I, stop. I watched that. I can't say it anymore. I watched that David Goggins video, and I was like, "No way!" And then I was gonna, and then I walk out, and I just see Ben running. I was like, <laughs> "It's Ben's so on the track, fucking no. true. It's so true." No, I mean, I was like the person telling you, and you, your opinion. I hate to break this to you, but didn't make too much of a difference. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was like, either. I mean, either Ben's telling the truth or he's lying. But like, no, I'm I was being like, dead no, yeah, serious. Be honest. Like, if it did make a difference, then you would tell him. I guess. Yo, thanks, no. bro. What's up, guys? Brief break in the podcast to thank our sponsor, Policy Genius. If someone relies on you financially, such as a child, a parent, or even a business partner, life insurance gives you peace of mind that they have a financial cushion if something were to happen to you. Typically, life insurance gets more expensive as you age, so it's smart to get a policy sooner than later. And if the price of a life insurance plan pushes you away from getting one, Policy Genius makes it easy to compare your options from top companies and they can help you make sure you're not paying a cent more than you have to for the coverage that you need. Here's how it works. Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find the insurance you need at the right price. Click the link in the description or head to policygenius.com slash cboys to get started. And in minutes, you can compare personalized quotes from the top companies to find your lowest price. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. The licensed agents at Policy Genius are on hand through the entire process to help you understand your options and make decisions with confidence. Policy Genius works for you, not the insurance companies. They won't sell your info to third parties. Policy Genius has thousands of five star reviews across Google and Trustpilot. Policy Genius has options that offer coverage in as little as a week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. And since 2014, Policy Genius has helped over 30 million people shop for insurance and place over $150 billion in coverage. Head over to policygenius.com slash cboys to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much they could save you. That's policygenius.com slash cboys. Now back to the podcast. I've kind of been in and out of the gym for a while. Here's the tough part is when I was... 17 years old, we started making YouTube videos and I was like always really small. Like when I was growing up, like I was always like the shortest kid in my class. I didn't like grow up until, I don't know, I put maybe like 20 on it, like growing into my body. And so the whole world watched me as a kid right away. And then they thought like, that's what I looked like. Mm -hmm. And then, and then I grew up like everyone does. And I put on like, I would say normal weight. You yeah, like not, another like nine pounds. Yeah, so normal much. weight. You and then that. everyone's like, whoa, Becca fucking fat. <laughs> Bro, I'm just like normal size it, now. You got that You weren't so actually much. fat. No, I was just saying you're getting a little chubby. But like so many people, I remember we uh, went to Saiyan shop and like, I remember when Saiyan just specifically goes, damn, Ben, I haven't seen you in a while. You really filled out. But he was like <laughs> kind of stoked on it that you were like, yeah, it's because yeah. like you went from being a literal yeah, like teenager true. to being an adult. Yeah. Like well, that shit happens. It, so the thing you guys don't see is like our family, we were like kind of putting jokes at at Ben at like events and stuff. Oh, God. That's how our family works. I mean, it makes sense how we are this way. I don't way, think I could handle it from Jeff, CJ's dad. No, not, <laughs> him. not Jeff him. No, not doesn't him. even crack like, a <laughs> smile. Just like, Ben, you have been getting fat. No. <laughs> CJ's I'm saying just like, like... Standing behind him. Like, I guess his dad and me and <laughs> whoever would be poking fun. I never actually thought you were fat. You were just getting a little tubby. No, I, I was agree. Like, tubby, and chubby, I, fat. I agree. And then tubby, obese, wait, which chubby, one goes first? Fat. Which one? I'm actually curious. I'm doing it in tubby. order. Which one goes tubby, first? Chubby, chubby, wow. fat, obese. Tubby goes before chubby. I'm not saying that's wrong. I just like that. A little bit of tub. Yeah. I don't know. That's so. why it makes me feel better that you were calling me tubby. That's, I just thought it was funny, though, because I watched that video. I'm like, no way. I do that with Ben. And then I walked out and I see him running. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, sounds I like it. it's a good thing. Dude, you ran like four miles, but you did it in a sweatshirt, which for those of you that know, it's water weight, if you will. And you were so sweaty, dude. Bro, I couldn't believe it. You will it. fucking run four miles in a sweatshirt. I'm, I'm yeah. sweaty too. I, don't, I honestly couldn't run four yeah, miles. And I, I don't think I, I could. Yeah, I was like, man, if I'm going to spend my time like working out, I'm going to get the <laughs> ba- best bang you for your buck. There you go. Alex tells me I'm harsh all the time, though. Well, that, I am pretty harsh. The tough part about if it's something serious, I'm harsh. I guess it's when serious stuff you can't just sugarcoat it. You yeah, know? like don't leave the fucking windows on the skid steer <laughs> open. <laughs> you can't sugarcoat that, dude. 
I'm not going to say please. <laughs> Just do it and don't ask questions. So I've seen this TikTok challenge on the old interwebs. Oh, no. You have to drink a 20-ounce Sprite carbonated without burping. It's damn near impossible. I could. I could go. Could we pop those in the fridge? No, they're they're, uh, they're decently warm. Nothing better than just a Oh, you want them crisp. cold? I don't. Cold. Yeah, if we have to chug them, I really don't. You don't have want to chug cold. it. You do you think it? you can do it without I burping? Can't. No, probably not. But I'm gonna I'll try, try it. it. Also, I think of this in like such a business standpoint. Every time I see it on Twitter, I go, "Man, good for Sprite." I don't know if they came up with this challenge, but yeah. they're getting major. We're doing the Sprite challenge. Can you imagine on the biggest social media platform, arguably besides YouTube? Someone names a challenge, the Sprite Challenge. It's just and propaganda. Doing they're sitting it? there in the That's marketing room saying. like, what could we do and to increase like, sales? They're <laughs> like, let's start a TikTok right? challenge. Genius. Right. It is genius when companies do that and they go massively some, viral. Some yeah. tells me those, it really doesn't matter for Sprite. They're, yeah, they're, they're here like, to stay. They're, yeah. Here. they're at like the talk. Yeah. All right, pass yeah. that over also, to CJ. That's why when I see like... I got to drink this whole thing? I see like a Coca-Cola. CJ, we all got one. We all got one. Oh, are we going right now? What? No. Just wait. Just wait. Is it... Yeah, is it like the first one to finish, or I guess no. See, just the, it's just no, to see just, if you can. Don't burp. Okay, dude, but I've been Ken, training Ken, for this challenge. Ken, can you go get a? Uh, Ken won't be able to garbage? look at this without burping, dude. <laughs> oh god! Should we dude. get Ken in on this? I've been training for this challenge my whole life. Yeah, Ryan, you really have. This five pops a day is paid off. I had a monster before this, dude. That's I'm it. set at a Ryan, disadvantage. That's the interesting thing is that Mountain Dew, like you, you can say down. this, Mountain Dew doesn't have very much carbonation. Not I feel like I'm hard. already going to burp. <laughs> we get sp- sorry. You guys want to know something that actually is a pet peeve of mine? Like you you just mm. you just broke the system. Dude. That Sprite's like, damn it. No, you don't I do will. it? David Dobrik did this and he unbranded hey, it. Hey, you like, two over course. there. Sorry. <laughs> Big pet peeve of mine, and it's not even Ryan. He doesn't do it, but... It's not you even two in. and Mike especially, maybe more so just at bad times for you. And I know I make weird noises and whatever, <laughs> but you guys, when you just start going, you just go <laughs> as loud as you can. It is so gross Wait, to me. Burping? That. Yeah, yeah. But you don't even like like oh, at least yeah. Ken when he does it, he kind of just like does it. And it but you like you body. guys like press it out and make. That's because I don't do it often. Dude, yeah. one I love time, me a good burp. But he does that all the time, and it's so does, annoying. Dude. And I'm not kidding you. One time when we were going on our RV trip, we were at a nice ass dinner, a nice ass <laughs> restaurant, and Mike just goes, Ugh. Oh, Mike did. And I'm not I was kidding. like, hold up, I don't remember. I'm not doing kidding you. This. The whole, like, That's the people, funny, it was dude. like a quiet restaurant. They all turn and look at us, and we're, and literally all of us go, Mike, seriously? <laughs> and you even knew, you were like, yeah. I know I did bad. But also, like, because you were know. so used to doing That's it, but funny. you did it in a really nice restaurant. But I only do it like, once. Disgusting. I only do it once. Yeah, but you it's know, just, I get, I, think, no, I, get I, it. I find it's, it gross. It's just absolutely, and a lot of people do. You're not the only one, and mm. I, I get that. And like, I'm also the. It's funny because I do it, and I'm just like, man, when someone does it like two or three times, you're like. Stop! It's <laughs> gross. But once is just funny. Yeah, but I don't that's think only it's to funny. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with that being said, don't burp in front of CJ. Yeah. If anybody burps, CJ is gonna. Yes. F- I'm lose it. I'm totally with it. I'm cheers. not a big fan of burping. Cheers! Yes. Cheers. What is cheers! Cheers! So oh, we gosh, just got chug it. Fizz, dude. Yeah. So what's the movie chug? Oh, I already feel like I got a burp. Oh, this is going to be hard. So what constitutes a burp? Yeah, no, you you can't burp in your mouth. Yeah. Ah! No, like, keep, ah! it, keep your mouth close to the mic so we can tell. My stomach's really filling up, though. I wish ah! I was caffeine in this. I just burp. I don't oh, like that. Oh, CJ. It was very light. It wasn't a mic burp. I don't like that. Ugh, fuck. I fucked <laughs> up. Damn it. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude. Yo, we hey, suck. Dude. I don't even know. Like, you almost got to cut made that me. noise out of the podcast. The poor gross. people gross. listening, dude, are going to yeah, be like, Jesus Yeah, I agree, Christ. though. Mike, that why don't you just put your, at, your fart hole right up to there? And put your gross. fart hole up on there. <laughs> don't do Mike, it. Mike, you're going to give the Mike, guest pink eye. Mike, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine that? I still haven't burped yet. You, yeah, Ryan's winning, I guess. CJ's burp was tiny and so so cute and so so acceptable in the nice <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> I listen. I don't. I don't really. It's just. I just think it's gross. Like I. I. I, I agree. Feel, I'm not I a feel. fan of. Like just I feel the deliberately same way about not farts. even trying to cover it up. Like I know you got a burp, but when you just go, 
but and it's but it's not I can't like get over that. The face for, like, yeah, for the record, I was like, the exaggeration makes it very funny, but it's not like that. It's not this. It's oh, so oh, fucking. Oh, I got one. I got one. It's, it feels <laughs> like you're trying to. It feels like you're trying to make it as loud as possible. Right, and if I right, was, it would have been just like that burp I just Yo, ripped. But my the only a, thing is like we just like think it's acceptable, and it's because we let it slide around here, and then we go to this nice let restaurant. It slide. We let it slide. I he was just me. talking about that. this. Being around us for an extended period of time, you change. You when lose I, your social skills. That's acceptable. Yeah. Exactly. Whenever I go on a snowmobile trip, I come back a sailor, bro. Like, I'll be at dinner with my family. I catch myself swearing. And it won't even be like... Which you normally don't acceptable. do. Acceptable. No, I mean, normally you don't like just swear for no reason, but I'll be like, hey, pass me that uh, fucking Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just throw in swears for no reason. And after the RV trip, Alondra oh, would like do something God. fast, and I'd be like, bro, I would bro her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, Especially after the RV trip. Especially It was after too the long. Just turn into a freaking just barbarian. Degenerate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, degenerate. <laughs> really funny. Dude, that's actually a pretty a funny coming. bit. Like going to dinner with your grandparents after you. Hey, grandma, hanging. why don't you pass me that fucking salt? <laughs> <laughs> er, yeah, at, at me and CJ's family dinners though, that'd be it, acceptable. Yeah. Our grandpa would be like, "Yeah, fuck." All right. <laughs> yeah. So my mom listens to some of the podcasts. Oh no. Transitionally, oh, no. and she goes, she absolutely was not like mad at you. She goes, I kind of see where CJ gets his potty mouth from <laughs> after seeing that video with your guys or with their grandpa. I don't know if she's trying to tie it to something or whatever, but she's, uh, she's like, after seeing their grandpa, he's got quite a potty mouth on him too. So like, I can see how he would have that. <laughs> and it was just so funny to me. Cause then, then after hanging around him, I literally, whenever I hang out with you guys, grandpa, I'm like, yeah, I know it's a, I know it's only twelve thirty, but I could use a Corona. Yeah, you grab I me could one, use grandpa? a beer. Yeah, or whatever. Like, yeah, he's good shit. Yeah, yeah, our grandpa's the best. I I am trying to work on my swearing though. Like, it I I hard. seriously it's do not. Funny because the last when podcast, I listen back to the pods, I I'm like, why why was I swearing? <laughs> Almost I, just yeah, unnecessary like swear words. But I just it dude, they just I'm fit so easy. What makes a swear word a swear word? Yeah, I was I've always wondered that. And too. who who determines like who just, what's a swear word? Yeah, who just was like, you know what? These words aren't okay. I've always wondered that. Like, what's the difference between shoot and shit? Who even made up shit? Well, who made up most of the words and then... Pretty much everything's made up. And then they're just like, these ones are bad. Can't say them. Everything ever is kind of made up. It goes back (laughs) into, like, even numbers. Like, why one, two, three? That's deep. You know? Like, why is that... You know, there's... I mean, just someone got to choose it, and that's how it is. The thing about the F word is... You can use it in so many different scenarios. <laughs> ben, <laughs> My dad walks in. Dad walks in. <laughs> you know, Ben's gonna get a spanking tonight. Yeah, oh, I agree. No, I agree. And also, you can use I, it in so many. And like, it just is like almost like an exclamation point. Sometimes it really it's is funny. You know, so, it can be. A it can be a punchline. So it guess. can be a sexual gesture. It can be a. Uh, Emphasis uh, piece. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it can be a hit piece, like "fuck you." Yeah. There is like, a lot of meaning. So to it. many like, like meanings fuck behind. Can also be like bad, like "fuck," You're like shoot, yeah, like no An yeah. expression. Yeah, no kidding. It's amazing, and I think it's like a word that was just like ostracized from society. Yeah, there's not really like any negative connotation to it. Dana well, White has this. a massive <laughs> poster hanging up in his office, or it might be a big painting. Is just "fuck." There's lots Maybe of negative. Maybe I'll be at that point somewhere. Lo- there's someday. lots of negative connotations. Because he loves to the it. word. He thinks that he he said that one time he went on uh, ESPN and he said ass. He got his ass beat and ESPN like lost it. It was back before like yeah. swearing, but now really? nowadays I think it's slowly becoming a little bit more acceptable. Yeah. I'm still trying to work on my swearing. I, I'm trying to calm it down more, but. I- Yes, there is a point to it. Maybe if it's like a younger audience, like you can't just be yeah, yelling the I, F word in, in like middle school or right, even well, high school or like around kids. I get that. I'm not doing it Talking for that reason. Talking with adults, I guess. I'm not or, doing it for that reason. I just, maybe it's just because I criticize myself. I watch the podcast back and I go, I just sound so stupid saying mm-hmm. saying it that many times and I'm not like happy about it. That's all I've I don't like the way I sound. I don't like the way I look. And I didn't realize I was doing it at the time. But now thanks to... Or three cameras in there. I, I can. I'm like. I'm. I didn't. I should not do that. Yourself. And I'm trying not to. At least the f word. If I'm like, just for example, in Walmart, and there's a homie next to me, and he 
is just spitting. Like he's just talking, you know, there's maybe kids around or whatever, and he's just F word every sentence or, or yeah, anybody that yeah, does that. that. I'm just like, I don't do that. No, and I'm not saying you do. Uh, I'm just like, ah, dude, learn how to like speak. <laughs> yeah. Learn how to speak. Um, yeah. But then there's also times when you use it and it's just like, I don't know why I always think of this, but when, when we cut the first time we ever cut the hole in the ice, oh yeah, Jake before he jumps goes, "Fuck your shit." <laughs> that was funny. Why? It was hilarious. Yeah. Like, why did he say that? And I remember, like, I, we weird. still haven't <laughs> got a solid answer out of that one. He just like, said something. Just certain funny times, and also I remember when I was in uh, Jamaica, you know the the word bumbaclot. Mm-hmm. Apparently, that's a swear word. No and idea. Then, yeah. What is oh, that? It's what a, do it's you a say? Twitter, it's a Twitter thing. Bumbleclot? Like, it's just a word? In what context? In So I didn't even know what it meant, but it was on Twitter, and people would say bumbleclot. It was almost like, what are your thoughts? Mm. So that's what I thought it meant. And then we're at Jamaica, they're like, yeah, if you swear and stuff, like people that have potty mouths and among other things, they get put in jail. <laughs> if you so don't say bumbleclot. Because I, I didn't say it, what? but they brought that up, and like pussyclot is like another... Swear word. So you get put in jail in Jamaica. That's bullshit. If you're on the street swearing. Again, yeah, what is a swear word? Yeah, you can like, sell really? weed on the street yeah, literally. in Jamaica. But can you imagine getting put in jail here for swearing, even though what does a swear Pretty word intense. really mean? What do you guys call uh, spinning your car around in a circle with spinning the tires? What do you call that? Donuts. Drift. Uh, probably yes, donuts, but, but with shit, the swear shitty. word. Whipping shitties. Apparently yeah, that why? isn't a term. Anywhere really? else it's other than Midwest, like, like a Midwest, very Midwest. I saw a tweet about it. It was like, apparently people in Minnesota call donuts whipping, whipping shitties. shitties. What's wrong with them? And it feels what? very normal yeah. to call it that. Like, well, that's what shitties, like you yeah. do. Yeah. Even my dad, like that was one of the first swear words I probably ever heard him say. He was like, oh, Whips were you out whipping shitties? Be like, oh, that's really I just swore. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you call it that? Uh, that's what it's called. Yeah. Apparently it's just a Midwest thing. That's such a, yeah, maybe Canada thing. I don't know. Whipping shitties, eh? <laughs> that is a very Canadian it feels thing. Like, yeah. You know what? I bet that did originate from Canada. It had to have. All the quality swear words came from Canada. Dude, Canadians love to swear. They do. Carter, man. Yeah, dude. Our friend Carter from British Columbia, that dude speaks but, like a sailor. But, but <laughs> he still, I think it's because he's Canadian that it sounds funny, but he still uses it in a pretty good way. Yeah, fuck. We're going sledding today. <laughs> It's gonna be fucking tits deep. Yeah, like that like, to me just doesn't sound good. Yeah, but when it's coming from him, it's, it's just funny. it's just right. Dude, yeah. Canadians do swear a lot, actually. Totally off topic here. I don't know what made me think of this, but people in Dubai buy license plates. Oh, I was just gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the high, like the lower their number of license plate, like the richer they are. Like cars, like. Lamborghinis and Ferraris and Rolls Royces are a dime a dozen in Dubai. So they flex on people with their license plates. I am accustomed to very dumb flexes, and that is a dumb (laughs) flex. The dumbest, that has to be the dumbest flex I've ever heard. A guy spent $14.3 million. Whoa. $14.3 million on the license plate number one. That's how much it was. Wow. Yeah, I saw the video. The guy's like, I got a Bugatti, a literal, I don't know, one point two yeah. million dollar Bugatti, and he's found out. I love how he found this out after. Yeah, that he was like, oh yeah, you're not that cool. You don't have a low license plate number, and he bought nine. He, you know, hustled, he had number nine, hustled for number nine, and he goes, well, the Whoa. the prince of Dubai has number one, and I was <laughs> curious as to how much it cost. But he's like, I got number nine, eight or nine, or whatever it was, and that was nine million. Whoa. Didn't have anything to do with the number, but nine. Yeah. Nine million. The Bugatti was... <laughs> it goes to auction, too. Like, they just auction. They just run it up. Like, who wants it the most? Kind of reminds really? me of, like, an <laughs> NFT. Really? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Some of them that don't have utility, yeah. just so you can have this ape that you put as your profile picture. Like art. It's so weird, though. But it's that's the thing. It's, like, not art. It just comes from the the government... Says nine or whatever. I don't even know. Yeah, yeah who it's does the money go to? Do Just so know? everyone knows. Yeah, does really it go to the other person does or does it, the government get it? Probably the government, I'd imagine. If they, I don't even know if they need any. Uh, unless I why is uh, Dubai so rich? Oil. It's because oh, okay. if that makes sense. I actually didn't know that. I don't know actually how originally where the money goes, but people look at it as like an investment. Their plates, wow. and and a lot of people don't even run them. Like they just have yeah. them. 
Also, Probably like, because you could like, be stolen, uh, dude. Like, oh, someone would take that yeah, plate off. It's point. worth that much money. That's a great point. I, I didn't think about that. And I, I, I want to say it's, uh, it's something like an NFT in the fact that, like, if you have number five, like, you have it. They can steal the plates, but they don't. That's true. That's true. Well, like, think about that dude in your college apartment. You know, he's like, <laughs> yeah, you steal yeah. street signs and stuff, but you had, like, the number Wait, two license signs? plate. N- allegedly. Uh... <laughs> And there's uh, an up in your college dorm in Dubai is like That's, the number seven yeah. license plate. You're like, dang, you stole that from the prince. So like how big is Dubai? Something tells me you'd have people knocking just, on your door real quick. <laughs> Probably. I feel like it's small. Like, is it small? Like I, it's, it's big and it's got t- Dude, some of the tallest buildings in the world. But how big is Dubai? Uh, I don't know. I got to look that it up. up. How big is the population of Dubai? Yeah, apparently like w- with the license plates, it's like a status thing. And the nicer your car is doesn't really mean that much there because they're so many. So if you pull into a place and you have a super low license plate, they treat you differently with like VIP service. Mm. Um, if you're going down the highway and you have a low license plate, people give you like the right of uh, the right of way more or, or they'll let okay. you pass or so something it's more like than that. Just a number. It's more than a number. It's basically just like a status. Do you not get pulled over? Cause I'd maybe probably, I'd probably maybe. pay some money for that. <laughs> They're like, dang, that, no, that guy's bet. like sub 50. Don't mess with him. Yeah, you, you, should, you should just get the license plate number one and see how that goes. I think number one's probably taken, but I have like number like eight. <laughs> Mine's I'm super eight. low. Like it's, 37. It's a single digit. Like you shouldn't give me a ticket. Just such a strange, useless flex. Like who decided that? Probably, where, where did that originate from? Probably one of many things in Dubai. I just looked it up. They have 3.3 million in the city. I don't know if there's such a thing as a suburb of Dubai, but. Dubai, you can't swear or like really? act, oh, yeah, you act can't. like a uh, degenerate. Degenerate. So yeah. no, no, no pranking and stuff. Like you know, I don't know. Of, probably not. Dude. They don't YouTubers mess around that, like, there. Because I, I remember mm-hmm. uh, when Nelk went to Dubai or wherever for the they UFC couldn't. island, they said like no swearing, like all this stuff, and they almost were like, ah, we might maybe shouldn't go. Because like, like they, they were, I mean, like, there's like, how are we gonna like change everything? But they still went. I guess it was fine. I mean, if Dana White was there, you're probably fine. That'd it's be so sick to go to Dubai. It would. But also, it's when you go to like places. a third world, co- or not, not that's not third world. But you go to like a country like that, where it's so much different. I mean, it would imagine if for some reason something went wrong, you got thrown in jail. Shit's just different. In other places. I'm not saying it's perfect here, but it would really suck. Like, especially, obviously, Mexico. That's why I'm kind of like, I don't really know if I want to go to, like, Mexico trip. Because there's, like, no know. way that we could go to Mexico without you getting thrown into <laughs> Not me. <laughs> not me. But I'm just saying, I could see something happening. <laughs> no, I, I imagine. Very poss- very they throw Big possible. Ken in jail, and we're well, just like, I'm, we can't saying, get him out. Yeah. Bro, that jail, might happen. Jail that jail probably happens all the time. Mexico's got to be nasty. Mike, you would be somebody's bitch so fast. To be fair, we all would. <laughs> Right to be now, fair, I, was <laughs> I just see Mike walking in and I was listening big to poppy like, in the back just eyeing him up. Dude, I was listening to the No Jumper podcast with this this dude Evan always listens to. He's apparently the only white blood, mm. like that's he's legit. No a Jumper blood. is a part of the Bloods. No, 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 no. Oh. Not, not not No Jumper, but ten ninety J. He's just this white boy from like New Hampshire or something, and he's part of the Bloods. Anyway, he's like, telling his experience in jail because you are prison. Bro, he's just like people get like straight up raped in there. And like you either stand up for yourself and if you don't stand up for yourself right away and then try to later, he's like the homie just got like fucked stabbed in the neck. I was like, bro, I'm never going to jail or prison. Like just count me out of that. That's a good idea, Mike. I think everybody a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's something everyone can take home. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like you were right. I wouldn't build the last uh I don't think any there. of us. I don't would, think dude. any of us could, though. It'd be a bad situation. Yeah, I just do push-ups all day. <laughs> I saw push-ups and pull-ups. Yeah, yeah. I watched uh, TikTok earlier that this guy goes, "Life's all about perspective." One guy I know, he uh, works out three times a day. Uh, he has sex two times a week, and um, yeah, he gets to sleep in. But he complains all the time about being in jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I wanted to bring up our buddies, the side by side blog guys. Good mm. dudes. We were doing, been down in Florida Bad with things them. Things happening to good dudes. Get Seriously. out of here, dudes. <laughs> uh, they were driving 
to something for Cletus in Indiana or something like that. And their whole rig with their dually truck and like all of their razors and literally everything they own flipped over on the highway. And so was it what? Like, was it the dang Indiana wind? Uh, I don't know. It looked I don't, like it could yeah. have been. Some I'm type happy, of driving yeah, mistake or maybe avoiding something. And so, then yeah. I was like, I wonder Dude, if the side by sides are okay. Takes yeah. care of that. The like they got JZ so ones. much money into those things. They're probably fifty grand a unit. Yeah, yeah. it's it's crazy. And like they, they said At no one was hurt, grand. but they said like all the side by sides were yeah. Damn. Damn. literally Damn. everything's Fuck. mangled. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. What about their truck? Those what happened to that? It flipped over too. Like it was all mangled on the side. I think they could still drive it. But it was pretty bent up. Can you imagine so. how rattled they had to have been? Yeah. No, dude, we've traveled all over the country, and every nothing time we like get that, home, yeah. I get so thankful yeah. that nothing happens when we're driving. Because it's like, think of the RV trip. We traveled 8,000 miles in two weeks. I yeah. know. Through cities, a lot could go mountains. wrong. A lot of, There's a lot, a lot of, can go wrong. Exactly. Every little stop is mm-hmm. important, obviously. Cause, yeah. Yeah. I mean, even today, dude, when we were driving back, uh, Ben and I, so we went and picked up uh, my new boat, and we didn't boat. have brakes. We didn't have because the <laughs> connector was broken, as we all agreed on <laughs> later earlier. Um, CJ's not pointing so, fingers so now. I never pointed it's fingers. Broken. I just said who who broke it. Like own up to it. Which, if you look at it, I guess it to me it looked like it was just fully ripped out. I was like, oh, someone just didn't unconnect it and they pulled away from the trailer. But whatever, doesn't matter. So the freaking it was so windy, and that truck is like a kite. And that boat is also, like, kind of acting like a kite. So they're freaking going like this down the interstate. We got cars all over us. Uh, we're in Fargo. And I'm like, did they hook the trailer up right? And he's like, I don't know. I didn't do it. And I was like, I hope they didn't expect me to, like, hook it up right. And I'm having flashbacks to the time when we were in, were in Wisconsin with riding that. with Fuller in that exact same truck before oh, we chill. bought it. And he was Should pulling it. his boat, and it fell off on the interstate. <laughs> the <laughs> that was wild. Connected, that was yeah, wild. Because we hit a bump, and it makes sense how it could happen because the truck's so stiff. So it's just like, yeah. and I could see it. I'm like, fucking a. I got this. Like I was like, I don't want to risk it. So we pull over in a terrible spot on the interstate. <laughs> yeah. Well, you were like, pull over. I was like, pull over, and. Uh, there's like mud and shit on the side of the road. So I pull, I'm pulling over as far as I can because I don't have brake lights. So I can't flash them and whatever. And Jeez. we go and check and it was it was on there. Good. But now I've got all this traffic and I pull out of there in our truck, which I somehow made it out. But just spun and spit mud all up in on the side of the boat, in the boat. Oh. At, so now I got to clean all that. But uh, I don't know. This goes back to just... It, it was sketchy. Ben and I were... Ben literally said, dude, I'm like anxious right now riding with you. And I was like, I, I am too. Because it was just waving all over the road. It was sketchy. Yo, why are you telling me this? Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it goes back to sketchy trailer driving. Bro, poor CJ. That was, a, kidding, that was pretty good timing on that. But yeah, CJ got a new boat and it's sick. Bro, like la- it's a just, setup like, too dude, with the SEMA truck. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. All red. When you he's they pulled in Ben and CJ pulled in pulling in and it's red and black and I go, mostly, dude, it looks so, so good. good. It looks like you tried a little too yeah, hard yeah, because yeah. they match so good. <laughs> really and I'm it not gonna totally lie, does. you kind of almost look stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's what he told me. I I was like, I see what people see from. the truck and they're like, that's a sick truck, but I bet he's got a tiny penis. And if they see this setup, they got to be like, oh, Lord, help him. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I when you told me that, I, I was like, he's right. <laughs> he's right. Let's get out of here <laughs> before That's somebody sees us. Go, go, go. It's funny, too, because I saw that thing. I was like, this will look sick behind the SEMA truck. I want this one. That is so true, though. Like, yeah, there's a point where it looks I mean, like I tried too it, hard. And now it's I all look jokes, lame. and it totally does. It's like it's like <laughs> I'm gonna build the truck, and then I'm gonna get my Snowmobile trailer wrapped the same, and then yeah. my sled. Same vibe. Same, same vibe. Look, looks like, like try hard. Why did you? Yeah. I know. Yeah. Fuck. No, oh. it's all right, man. You'll get them next time. You know what's? It's gonna be get good them for on the next boat. The gram. Guarantee you, people are gonna go. Yeah, I bet They're you that. that I bet you that the, the boat and the truck pick will go like yeah. viral on like it's the one wake, of those things, wakeboard boat. I'd pages. be scrolling along. I go, that's yeah. sick. Because normally it's just like the boat and like a you know a truck on like a small lift, but this will just look ridiculous. They're gonna look at it and go, "Damn! Not only does that guy have money, but he's got a small dick, dick too." <laughs> and you know what the coolest part is? He's okay with it. <laughs> he's proud. He's like, yeah, Shit. he's That's looking so, so cool. good that he's proud of his small dick. This makes me feel good about my micro penis. <laughs> oh, we didn't say anything about that. 
Gosh darn. Well, boys? We got to go golfing. Yeah. Sweet shots. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm so True. excited for Me this. Too. You guys know how I golf. Pretty bad. I'm so, so excited to see this. It's going to yeah. be funny. That's Pretty right. Bad. Dibs not being in Micah's Bay. Yeah. I'll be with, I'll be with Mike. That's the best part about golfing. <laughs> <laughs> Mike somehow gets a golf cart up on the second floor. They're like, we don't even have golf carts. He drives Send it off. It Yo, what can we bring hell? our own golf cart? To God damn it. Golf. Mike bails out again just from the second floor. <laughs> Mike <laughs> lands on the grass, and lastly, gets up. Yeah, that it got posted by a golf page, right? And Your page, you go right in yeah, the golf cart? Yeah, me jumping off the, bel- or the, the retaining wall. People were so upset. So upset, dude. Golfers were so pissed. Mad. Calling daddy's money and all this, and I'm like, bro, it's like I didn't do anything. I literally, I like, went in there and didn't... I started responding to some people. I started going after this one guy because he was like saying, Did you actually? Yeah, he was. I can't remember what he said, but I was like, Watch out, buddy, this guy's gonna fuck your wife. Jesus, <laughs> I was like, kind of going in because they were going in on you. So then I was like, had to defend. I was like, that's a good friend. His, I was like, that? these assholes. And I was looking at their profiles, trying to come up with anything that I could. And I was like, oh, this guy's married. A bunch of just good guys that like golfing that's, without their wives. Although I did, there was one that was really good that it was just like, I don't think we can call this a gentleman's sport anymore. <laughs> that is funny. I'm like, now when we play, on catch, that bomb catch you guys next week. Thanks yeah, for listening. Thanks for listening, guys. Really Hit the subscribe button. Please Peace.